I started in 1995 as an athlete. I did track and and I went to bowling. And then in 2001, I joined a program called Alps Athlete Leadership Programs, and it's really changed my life because I didn't, didn't used to talk all the time, and it's really changed my life. And then I graduated a few years ago, and now I teach technology classes. And I was a photographer this, in 2012 at the International Torch Run Conference. And I'm hoping to get picked for being a photographer this year at National Games in New Jersey. It, I mean, it made me a true person. I mean, I learned a lot over the years. I mean, like when I, before I first started, I didn't have no confidence in myself. And now I got so much confidence. When she was young, uh, she was uh, she was so shy that if you if you talked to her, she would actually just hang her head and not look at you. But uh, now she gets up in front of 150 people and will talk and tell about Alps and things like that. So, so uh, Alps has done uh, wonders for her. Our Special Olympics has done wonders for her. And I love getting all the students involved. That was my favorite part was getting all the college kids to volunteer. And we actually have um, some kids who host teams. And so they hang out with a specific team from each different county for the entire day. They have lunch with them. They get to know the athletes, take pictures. Um, some of them still connect with each other on Facebook. So I love seeing that interaction. They make great friends because those guys need friends their own age. They're with adults so much at school and different places that they need that interaction on their level because it's so important to them. It makes their whole life so much better when they have kids their own age that are with them instead of me. Yeah. And with Special Olympics, I found that through my struggles, I could help others as well. It empowered me. I felt like I empowered others. So I think Special Olympics has actually given me more than I could ever give it. Why are we still doing it? Because of athletes like Chelsea and athletes that I have here today, that's what makes me stay. I could go on and on and start crying about all the athletes that has touched my life, that have humbled me so much to continue doing Special Olympics, even with all the struggles of fighting enough time in the day, enough volunteers, enough energy, I still, it's for the athletes, it's all about the athletes. The most memorable one that I've seen was at our Take It to the Hoop tournament. One of the skills, individual skills athletes <laughs> didn't even get a medal. It was a fourth place, but he got his ribbon, fell to his knees, and lifted his arms up and just started crying. And that's just burned into my memory forever. And uh, one of the most interesting or memorable moments I had of the entire summer last year was I went to the opening games at Indiana State University for the first time and I said you know I think I figured out what these athletes are asking and all they're asking is can I play too? I was shy don't talk to a lot of people now I talk to a lot of people meet new friends I have a whole bunch of sports to do. The Olympics is fun and fun and being around new people and talking to new people. I started in Special Olympics my first year of teaching, which was a long time ago, 1974-75. We saw what Special Olympics did for, for the athletes, not only athletic ability, uh, but how they were, it just changed everything. I, to me, it was something that I got into because I thought it was wonderful for the athletes, but I think it's also been good for me also.